Hi, this is Ms. Bratcher here, and in this lesson we're going to talk about copyright. And as a web designer, you want to make sure that you either own the images that you're using or that you're finding copyright-friendly images. One thing that you don't want to do is just go right to the internet, Google an image, and go ahead and save that image and post it as your own. You need to make sure that you obtain permission from the owner. There are, however, images online that are copyright friendly that you can use. Some images will require you to give permission or credit to the actual photographer or owner, and some do not. So let's look at some options. We're going to look at images that are of public domain and ones that are Creative Commons. So that means they've been licensed in such a way that you could use the image with some minor rules, maybe uh, that you need to give credit or that you can't edit the image in any way. And images of public domain, you do have the right to use because the copyright has expired. Some places that you can search, not all images, but a lot of the images on Flickr would be available Creative Commons. They also have a link to Flickr Commons, which has different images that you can use that are of public domain and this is a project they did with the Library of Congress started in 2008. Uh, we have a link to public domain pictures. Some of these sites may be blocked at school. Pixabay um, has images that you can use free of public domain. And you can also do a Creative Commons search and it's going to pull images from any one of these places. So you would just click on this link, search for a certain topic, and it could pull images from any of these sites. Another source that I've given you all here, and some of these again, like I said, might be blocked here at school. This is what you call a symbolu. It's a collection of websites, and all of these websites are places where you can obtain free images that you can use. A good one down here that I like is morgue file. Again, you can search for a topic right here. When you're finding these images, it is very, very important that you pay attention to who the owner of the image is and whether or not you're actually allowed to use it. So over here she'll say you're allowed to copy this and transmit the work and adapt it. Um, you do not need to give her credit. So what I would like you all to do, you can download the image, but I would still like you all to keep track of where you obtain the image and who it is by. So I would download the image here. When I downloaded the image, it pops up down here. It's going to go to your downloads folder, which you all at school don't have access to. So one thing that you can do is change where your downloads go if you prefer. You can go over here to these three little lines called the hamburger in Google Chrome. You can then go to your settings. show advanced settings and then you can go down where it says downloads and right now mine is going to my C drive downloads folder and that's where you can change it by going to change and I would just put it in your H drive or make a downloads folder in your H drive so you can find those pictures another option is to click the JPEG URL you could right click save image as this particular photographer did not put a name on the image but I'm going to keep track of where I obtained it for the meantime so I would want to go to my H drive find my my site folder find my review folder now go into my my site folder go into my review folder always put it in the images folder you notice that all my images have short names no capital letters no spaces and I try to keep it under eight characters if you want you can write this information down in Google Docs for the meantime I'm going to break my saving rule and I'm going to give credit to this photographer so I'm going to call my picture sunset and for right now I'm going to give credit to the photographer 
Her name was Moonlight Way. She said she was an amateur photographer. And I got this from Morgue File. Later on, I'm going to go back and delete everything except for Sunset. That way, um, I have the proper image name. And I can just add this to my HTML code to give her credit. Then I'll hit Save. And there's one of my six images. In the Creative Commons search I chose, I want landscapes. I'm not going to use this for commercial purposes, but I might want to modify it or adapt it in some way. And then down here you get to pick where you want it to search. So I chose Pixabay. And it's going to pop up with some different images that I could use. I obviously don't want ones that have the watermark in the background. So here's one that came from Pixabay. This is free for commercial use, no attribution required, but I want you guys to keep track of where you got your image from. You can click to download it. And in order to download this one, they're going to want you to sign up, which is free, so you can go ahead and do that. This is Sunset 2. I'm going to give credit to the photographer. His name was Kay Hines, and I got this from Pixabay. Later on, when I come back to actually put these into my website, I'm going to delete this information and add it in the code, and we'll learn that later. But for right now, I'm just keeping track of it here. Another option is you could copy and paste it into a Google Doc or on the Google slide we're working on. So this is image two of six.